So whenever I've reviewed a deep cool AIO before, I've always been amazed by the solid thermal performance and great value for money. But what happens when Deepcool adds an LCD display to its AIO coolers? Does value for money suddenly go out of the window? Does a Deepcool AIO with an LCD suddenly become an expensive premium product? Well, thankfully not, because this is still Deepcool we're talking about. The Mystique from Deepcool has all the features of a premium brand without the high price tag. But can it still produce the chart-topping thermal performance that we've got used to? Let's find out. So this is the Deepcool Mystique AIO. It's available in 240 and 360 millimeter versions with an MSRP price of 179.99 euros. In the UK, you can pick it up from Amazon priced at just under 165 pounds, which to me, that sounds like excellent value for money for a 360 millimeter AIO with an LCD display. It features a pump top mounted 2.8 inch IPS LCD screen with 640 by 480 resolution controlled by Deepcool Deep Creative software, which is a simple yet intuitive control center. It's equipped with Deepcool's own fifth generation high performance pump featuring an efficient three phase six slot four pole motor, a redesigned cold plate with 0.1 millimeter flow channels placed directly over CPU hotspots for maximum cooling performance. The Mystique series comes with Deepcool FT12 SE fans made from a durable PBT material with fluid dynamic bearing, PWM control and high static pressure. So let's take a closer look at the cooler. You can see out of the box it comes with the fans pre-installed to this side of the radiator and they are the daisy chain style fans so they all interconnect to each other with a small link cable and they have an extension potential on each end so you could connect more fans to this end. And this end is connected to the motherboard and it's a standard four pin PWM header. Radiator is made from aluminium. It's what we'd call a standard thickness. So it's a 27 millimeter thick radiator. Some AIOs come with thicker radiators now up to around 38 millimeters. This is what we call a standard thickness at 27 millimeters. It also features Deepcool's anti-leak technology, a device built into the radiator which protects against leaks in the system. If you want to uh, read more information or hear more information about the anti-leak technology, Check out our previous Deepcool AIO videos. It's all explained on there. On the other side of the radiator, there's a small Deepcool logo. It's quite small and subtle. It does have a bit of green in it, but it should fit into most system styles. At the radiator end, you can see the tubing is fixed in position, so there's no rotation or adjustment of angle on the tubing it is fixed in place and you can see there are these kind of trim pieces that cover where the tubing goes to the radiator they're quite nice looking they've got like a rounded edge on them they make the tubing look quite premium tubing length is 410 millimeters overall it's a rubber tubing it's covered with this black braided sleeving we used to say this was a premium feature of AIO coolers but just about every AIO on the market features this braided sleeving or some kind of braided sleeving it's also got a couple of velcro straps just to keep the tubing together and looking neat at the CPU block end the tubing is on these rotary 90 degree fittings so these do rotate and allow some movement in the tubing helps a little when it comes to installation being able to move the tubing at the base of the cooler you can see it is a solid copper block it's microscived solid copper it does actually come with some thermal compound pre-applied that's been removed because we've already done the testing on this cooler and we use the Arctic MX6 thermal compound, but it does come with pre-applied thermal compound. It is pre-applied to the base, but there isn't any additional tube of thermal compound included in the box, which is a bit of a shame. I like to see some included in case you have to remount for any reason, or if you upgrade your CPU motherboard in future and need to remount the cooler, you've got some spare. This doesn't come with any spare. All the connections at the base of the pump, they're all standard either motherboard headers or they connect up to standard connections on the power supply. There's no additional fan controller or control hub for the LCD screen, which is good because that means the installation is quick and the cable management is pretty easy as well because you've just got this bunch of cables here at the pump to manage, which is a lot less than some other coolers that come with proprietary cables 
and extra control hubs. There is a standard SATA power connection for the pump and the LCD screen. There's a USB data cable that needs to be connected from the pump to a standard motherboard USB 2 header. RGB lighting from the pump block connects via a standard three pin five volt header. It's also got this small daisy chain link here so you can connect additional RGB via three pin five volt. And connection for the pump speed is done by a standard three pin motherboard header. You can connect this up to any three pin or four pin motherboard header. The fans are also standard motherboard headers. They are four pin PWM and in the box you get this extension cable. So this just connects to the end of the fans and then connect the other end of that cable to your CPU fan header on the motherboard. The main feature of this cooler is obviously this 2.8 inch IPS LCD screen built into the pump top. The screen has a resolution of 640 by 480, automatically rotates based on information from built-in gyroscopic sensors, which means it will always be in the correct orientation. The screen can display system information, including component temperature, frequency, and voltage. It can display the cooler's fan and pump speed. It can also monitor temperature over time and display a graph and you can also display your own custom images and GIFs on the LCD display too. As I say the fans come already pre-installed to the cooler. They're not RGB fans. Deepcool usually does this. They usually have a non-RGB version of a cooler and then a, another version later that's very similar but with all RGB, so I do expect one coming, but the Mystique, the one that we have here, this is the non-RGB version, so they're just standard black high static pressure fans. The Deepcool FT12 SE have a speed range of 500 to 2150 RPM, maximum airflow of 72.45 cubic feet per minute, maximum air pressure of 4.32 millimeters H2O, a fluid dynamic bearing, and a standard four pin PWM connection. Installation of the cooler on both AMD and Intel platforms is very quick and it's very simple because there's no additional control hubs or fan hubs or RGB hubs to install and the wiring is very easy to manage. The reason it's so simple to install because the installation process is very similar on either platform. The only real difference in installation is with the Intel installation, you have an additional Intel backplate or an additional deep cool backplate to install to the motherboard first. To install the cooler on AMD AM5, you need to fasten the AMD upper mounting brackets to the CPU block and install the AMD standoffs to the motherboard. Place the CPU block over the CPU and align it with the standoffs. Then using the provided thumb screws, tighten the CPU block down using equal pressure for optimal contact. Then connect the power cable from the pump to a SATA power connector on the power supply. Connect the three pin pump cable to the motherboard CPU option or pump header. Connect the four pin PWM cable from the fans to the motherboard CPU fan header. Connect the RGB to a three pin five volt header on the motherboard and connect the USB data cable from the CPU block to a motherboard USB 2.0 header and that's it. If you're looking for a new chair then you should definitely check out Boolies. I'm currently sat on their Ninja Pro gaming chair which is one of three models from their gaming series alongside the Elite and the Master. So if you're looking for something new to stick in your setup that you can sit on and game and work then I recommend definitely checking out Boolies.co.uk. You will need to download the software from the official Deepcool website. Follow the instructions to install the software. One thing that we picked up on during the installation of the software, although the software is quite easy to control, we found an issue during installation. Windows 11 security actually picked up a virus. It was a false positive when installing the software, which meant the software didn't install correctly and it simply wouldn't work at first. But to get around this, you just need to disable the Windows 11 security before installing the software. So reinstall the software again, and it should install and work correctly after that. One other thing to know is that you do have to have an active internet connection for the software to install correctly too. So I think that's all the basics of the Deepcool Mystique covered. If you want more details and want to see more information on the cooler, there is a written review page over on kitguru.net. More info on the cooler will be over there. So if you want to see that, make sure you head over there and check that out. 
But let's now look at the thermal performance. So let's start by looking at noise output as this provides a good indication of performance based on noise. At maximum fan speed, the Deepcool Mystique isn't the quietest 360 AIO out there, but at 51 decibels, it's one of the quieter coolers with three fans running at over 2,100 RPM. In the first of three tests on the AMD 7950X test bench, we look at the thermal performance with the CPU frequency and voltages fixed and the radiator fans and pump speed are all fixed at maximum RPM to test the cooler's raw performance. In this configuration, the Deepcool Mystique 360 shows great brute force raw thermal performance, displacing the EK nucleus from the top spot in the chart by 3 degrees C, while using an equal fan speed as the nucleus. Tuning fan speed to 40 decibels can harm some AIO cooler's performance, but the Mystique 360 holds on very well. In fact, at 40 decibels, the Mystique even outperforms the recently reviewed Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 by a couple of degrees. In the PBO test, the important metric is clock speed. Again, the Deepcool Mystique 360 scores well here with an average clock multiplier of 56.1 times, which is the highest average PBO clock speed we have seen while testing on the 7950X. So overall, it's great performance from the Mystique 360 on AMD AM5. We are still adding coolers to our Intel 13900K test bench, so right now we don't have the extensive list as we do on our AMD test system. However, we can compare the performance of the Deepcool Mystique 360 against some other 360 millimeter AIOs. With fan speed maxed out on the 13900K, the Mystique 360 performance is mid-table but solid. It beats other 360 millimeter coolers by a close margin, but it doesn't have the brute force performance of some other coolers with high fan speed, which is to be expected. But when noise is normalized to 40 decibels, the Mystique 360 closes up on the competition and is just a few degrees behind the top Intel coolers. This is a similar story when all cooler fans are limited to 1400 RPM. Performance looks okay with the cooler only sitting in mid-table, but it's only a couple of degrees off the top three, which is within margin of error. So on AMD AM5 or Intel LJ1700, you can expect very good performance from the Deepcool Mystique 360. So overall, this is an excellent 360 millimeter AIO CPU cooler. On Intel, up to 300 watts and beyond package power, it is able to handle that well. And on AMD AM5, it's one of, if not the best performing CPU cooler we've tested yet on the 7950X. And considering this is priced at just under 165 pounds in the UK with excellent thermal performance, an LCD screen, 360 millimeter radiator, you really can't argue in terms of value for money. I'd say it's probably one of the best value for money LCD equipped coolers you can buy right now. It's also a good looking CPU cooler. The block is a reasonable size. It's not too big. It doesn't impose itself too much on the system. You've got a nice subtle ring of RGB lighting around the top of the block. I quite like the fact that you don't have RGB fans on this cooler. It keeps it looking quite subtle. I'm sure there will be an RGB version at some point, but I quite like this non-RGB version. And just the design of it overall it is quite subtle. This little deep cool logo on top of the radiator. The fans are okay with how they connect with these daisy chains. I would have liked to have seen some maybe magnetically connecting together fans or something of that nature. But in terms of the installation, it's really easy to install on both Intel and AMD platforms. Cable management is quite simple too, with just this bunch of cables to manage at the pump side means that when it is installed in the system, it looks quite neat and tidy. Just those few cables and just a single cable coming from the fans, which means the installation process is very quick and simple. The software, is okay to use. It's laid out well. It's easy to switch between the different modes. So whether you want temperature displayed or whether you want to put an image on there, it's laid out well in the software. It's easy to find and it's easy to control the software. There are some niggles with it. Like I said, the installation, you have to be connected to the internet to install the software or it just simply won't install correctly. And I had that issue with the Windows security flagging it up as a virus. But this is still a software that is under development by Deepcool, so hopefully 
it will improve further in the future too. So overall, it's a great AIO cooler. It is possibly the best we've ever tested on the 7950X. Intel performance up to and beyond 300 watt package power is solid. So there's very little to complain about with the Deepcool Mystique 360. It's certainly a cooler that I would recommend and it's certainly one that I would use in one of my own systems or a system that I'll be building in the near future. So that's the Deepcool Mystique 360. It's also obviously available in the 240 40 millimeter version. MSRP is 179.99 euros for the 360. You can pick it up from Amazon in the UK priced at 164.99 currently. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button on YouTube if you've not already done so. If you enjoy what we do here at KitGuru and you want to help support us, you can head over to the store, pick up some of our merch, or you could even subscribe to our Patreon. And as always, if you want to catch up on all the in-depth technical reviews, head over to the website.